Truth. What is truth? Is something true because someone tells you it's true? Or is it true because it's true? I could tell you that the world was created by God, but can I prove it? Maybe I can. What does science say? Well, modern science has confirmed that everything in the universe began a long time ago in some type of explosion of energy at a singular point that was infinitesimally small, like non-existently small. Science has come to this conclusion because they noticed that the universe is still expanding, and if they simply reverse the expansion far enough back, they see it all started from the same point. Cool. But where did it come from? Well, here's a better question. Where did life come from? Modern science supposes, and I do mean supposes, that life came from water and some other basic minerals that you could scrounge up on a lifeless rock floating through the universe. It's a big assumption because they have never seen life pop out of nothing, even if you have the basic building blocks of life, but it had to come from somewhere. So this living water springs forth life that basically evolves over time and diversifies into everything we know today. There's a whole lot of assuming going on in these beliefs because what we do know is that we are here and the only cards we can pull from are the cards we can currently see in the deck of life, so to speak. Another line of thinking is that there is something, or in the biblical case, someone that made all life. This someone is not bound by creation because he himself created creation. See what I did there? If I made a computer program, I wouldn't be in the program I created, right? Well, this someone, we shall call the creator, is so in love with his creation that he wants to be with them and love them and speak to them and watch them laugh and smile and dance and sing like any good father would. But there's a problem. He wants his creation, we shall call them his kids, to love him back. He doesn't want robo kids. He wants loving children. So what the Creator decides to do is give its kids the ability to choose whether or not to love Him back. Some of them do, and some of them don't. However, He loves them all just the same. But how does He know if His kids really love Him? What if, instead of showing up right in front of them and shouting, I am God, love me, what if He decided to lay low, to whisper softly to them, I love you? Sometimes His kids can hear it clearly, sometimes it's just a still small voice. Over time, these kids have a choice to make. Do they ignore the voice and say, I choose to follow my own way. I choose to love myself, my plans, my wisdom, my understanding. Or do they choose to listen to the voice? Do they seek the voice with all their hearts? Do they come to him with clean hands and a pure heart and genuinely seek the truth, even if that means they have to change? Maybe so. Maybe if they did that, he would see that they really do love him. They really do love the truth. And then he will reveal himself to them. As it says in the book of Matthew, blessed are the pure in heart for they will see God. The argument is most often, if God is real, why doesn't he reveal himself to me? Show yourself, God. God says, I am real and you can see me. You see, the book of Jeremiah says, seek me and you will find me if you search for me with all your heart. The creator put the ball in our courts. He loves us already, but do we love him? Are we willing to seek the truth at all cost? Or do we love our own ways too much to change? What is truth? Jesus is the truth, and the truth will set you free. Seek him, and you will find him. It is our maker's guarantee.